Hello class. Today we will be continuing with your summary of chapter 1 at school. So, we will still need your Superminds workbook, pencils, and color pencils. We will be starting from page 16. For page 16, activity number 1, Look and read. Put a tick or a cross in the box. Now look at number one. This is a book. So since the book matches the picture, they put a tick there for you. Now for the second one, this is a ruler. Is that a picture of a ruler? No, it isn't. So they put a cross there. So if you have not done this yet, you can try doing it by yourself first. You can pause this video and continue doing this by yourself first. Once you have done, you can continue playing it. So now I will continue going through the answers for number 3 to number 6. Number 3. This is a pencil. Is that correct? No, it isn't. It's a pen. Look here. This part is supposed to be a pen, a ballpoint pen. Number four. This is a pen. Is that a picture of a pen? No, it isn't. That's a pencil. Number five. This is a ruler. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes, it is. So you can draw a tick in the box. Number six. This is a notebook. It is correct. So you can put a tick there too. This is a picture of a notebook. Okay, you can check through your answers and we will continue to page 17. For page 17, you need to listen and number. I will play an audio for you and you need to listen to it and write the numbers in the little boxes provided next to the picture. To avoid confusion, I'm telling you now, this box is for this one. This box over here is for the ruler. This one is for this picture. Okay, and then the rest are quite obvious. Now, I will start playing the audio. For the first round, you can just listen. For the second round, we will discuss it with the answers. Workbook, page 17. 1. Listen and number. Can you see the pencils? Yes. Write a number 1 on the pencil. Now, find the ruler and write number two on it. Okay. Next, find the pencil case. What number is it? Three. Now find the notebook and write number four on it. Got it. Look for the rubber and write number five on it. Okay. Can you see the book? Yes. Write the number six on it. Number six. And now the bag. Write number seven on it. Yes. The last one. Is it the pen? Yes, it is. Write number eight on the pen. Okay, that is the end of the audio. 
This time, we will play the audio again and number it. So let's start again. Number one. Workbook, page 17. One. Listen and number. Can you see the pencil? Yes. Write a number one on the pencil. Okay, number one has already been done for you. So let's continue to number two. Now, find the ruler and write number two on it. Okay. Okay, this time, find the ruler and write number two on it. So, number two. Next. Next, find the pencil case. What number is it? Three. Okay. The next one is number three. The pencil case. Now you might be wondering which one is the pencil case. It is this one. It is a flat pencil case. Just like your smiggle pencil case. So, write number 3 next to the picture. Now find the notebook and write number 4 on it. Got it. Okay. Next, the notebook is number 4. Now, which one is the notebook? Is it this one or this one? Which is the notebook? It is the one on the... Right, this flat one is the notebook. So write number four next to it. Look for the rubber and write number five on it. Okay. Okay, next is the rubber. Write number five on it. Can you see the book? Yes. Write the number six on it. No. Okay. The book is number six. So please write a number six next to the book. Number six. And now the bag. Write number seven on it. Yes. Okay. So the next one is the bag. Which number was it? Number seven. The last one. Is it the pen? Yes, it is. Write number eight on the pen. Okay, so the last one is the pen. And since all the other numbers have been taken, the pen is number eight. So please check your answers. To make sure they are the same, write your numbers clearly. Make sure your number 6 and 8 are correctly written. And make sure your 7 does not look like a 1. Okay, once you have finished checking your answers, we can continue to page 18. Now, for page 18, you will need colour pencils. I will explain why later. Now, for page 18, activity number 1, complete the colour chart. Some of you have finished this when we were doing the Google Forms, but some haven't, so we will just quickly run through your answers. So, primary colours, secondary colours. Your choices are purple, red, blue, green, yellow, and orange. Now, you will notice that yellow, they gave you this type of white, but by right, you should have the one with a curve. I will show you later. So, let's look at primary colors first. They have already put red there for you. So what are the other two primary colors? 
they are blue. So once you have written it here, you can cancel it. Red, blue, and yellow. These three are primary colors. It means they are the original colors. Now, secondary colors over here are colors that are made by mixing these two colors together. Secondary colors are made by mixing two primary colors together. So now let's look at what is the first secondary color. It's purple. So after purple, we can have green or orange. Now the order of your answers does not matter. You can have this switched. It can be red, yellow, and then blue. It's fine. For this tree, you can also mix them up. It can be green, orange, purple, or orange, purple, green. As long as the three colors are correctly put under secondary colors. Now, make sure your spelling is correct and make sure your writing is neat. They gave you in small letters, so please don't give me in capital letters. Thank you. Now, activity number two, read, write, and color. So notice this word here, color. You will need to color this later. Now look at number one. Blue plus yellow equals green. In other words, if you mix blue and yellow, you will get green. Now since the answer is green, you will have to color this brush green. If you want to try this on your own, you can pause the video and write the answers by yourself. If you have already done this, you can just play the video and check your answers. Now, number two. Yellow plus red equals... If you mix yellow and red together, you get orange. So after writing the word orange here, color your brush and the paint orange. Now for the third one, red plus blue equals purple. So if you mix red and blue together, you will get the color purple. So you can color this purple. You can use different shades of purple. It is fine. Now for this picture down here, it is up to you whether you want to color it or not. This is just for you to freely do. If you do not want to color it, that is fine too. Now, the real task comes in page 19. I will not be coloring this for you, but let's read through what you need to do. Page 19, activity number one, color the picture. So you will notice that in this picture, there are numbers all over the place. You need to follow this key and color it. So for example, number one is gray. So, look here, there is number 1 written here. But you do not need to color it anymore because they have shaded it in for you as an example. So you do not need to color number 1. For number 2, yellow. So you need to find all the ones, the pictures with number 2 and color them yellow. Try to color them neatly. 
What do you need to color yellow? The sun and the inside of the flowers. For number three, blue. So find all the pictures with number three and color them blue. For example, the sky. It is up to you whether you want to color it light blue or dark blue. But I would like to think that since it is a sunny day, it should be a light blue. You may color it on your own. So I'll just quickly go over number four, color it purple. Number five, mm -hmm. color them red. Number six, green. Number seven, black. Is there any number 7 in this picture? Oh, yes, there are. Number 8, white. So, for the ones that are labeled white, you do not need to color them. If you have a white color pencil and you want to color them, you can go ahead. If you do not want to, it is fine. Because if you leave it blank, it will still be white. Number 9, orange. For example, this sandbox. Number 10, pink. Mm. The flowers would be pink. The petals of the flowers. So once you have finished colouring this, we can continue to the other pages. <coughs> For page 20, you do not need to do this, but as this is a craft page, if you want to try using a toilet roll to make a pencil holder you can go ahead if you do not want to it is fine too now for the last page of your super minds book it is my super mind page 21 my super mind activity number one Draw and write examples of what you know. This means that they want you to fill in these boxes with what you have just learned in this chapter. So for example, they wrote here, Is it your bag? And they drew a bag here. You can also draw any other stationery, which is one you? that you know, or things that you learned, for example, desk, chair, or colors. So, for example, you can draw a ruler here. Is it your ruler? You can also put here a pencil. Is it your pencil? Or you can put, you can draw something here and color it. For example, you can put a pencil case and color it pink. You can write, it is a pink pencil case. So this is up to you to write whatever you want. Now, these are my examples. You do not need to follow them. And remember, you must draw them. But since I'm only using the computer, I will have to use pictures. So for number two, I wrote, Is it your pencil? With this picture. For number three, I put, Is it your rubber? And I put a Pokemon rubber there for you. Number four, is it your pencil case? And you can put in a pencil case. It is up to you if you want to color the pictures or not. You do not need to, but you can decorate it if you like. You can also change the words, for example. This asks, is it your pencil? You can also write, this is a yellow pencil. Or, this is a Pokemon rubber. This is up to you. 
And that is the end of this lesson. Now, remember to do your homework and have a nice day. Bye-bye.